Thank you for this, tainted hunter. I am Tsar Boromir, the first hunter. I had sworn to fight the demons in our world. It was I who built Zagaravia and established the Hunter's Order to guard a secret that could destroy us all. I built this city to hide and seal the Well of Worlds, a gateway to countless worlds beyond ours, populated by demons and cosmic horrors beyond imagination and comprehension. For generations, my legacy has been passed down the royal lineage of Zagaravia. In time, my own kin forgot my words and the purpose given to them. And now, now, one of my own blood has sealed a dark pact with the very forces I had sworn to fight. But who are you? I sense the demon taint within you. Flee and do not turn back, for the Well of Worlds will corrupt your thoughts and tempt your heart. I've been running away all my life. It's my time to stand and fight. Let me tell you my story. Once upon a time, there was a prosperous kingdom. Its citizens enjoyed a life of wealth, luxury, and knowledge until its greedy neighbors joined forces in a vile plot. Three armies surrounded the city and its fall was inevitable. The young prince, heir to the throne, was willing to do anything and everything to save the kingdom. In this most desperate hour, an old man whispered to him, Open yourself to powers beyond this world, for this world has forsaken you. Seal your fate. My prince. Those words burned the mind of the prince as fire. He took the power he was offered and fought like a demon, summoning lightning and fire from the sky. He turned the tide, and the invaders fled in fear. But great power always comes at a great price. The children starved crops would not grow. His father died of an illness unseen. For the price of his power was the death and decay of everything around him. Even though he was the last of his bloodline, the prince left his kingdom. For if he stayed, his people would suffer and perish. Now he wanders the world alone never staying in one place for long, lest his curse catches up with him. I understand how you became tainted, Hunter. Your past mistakes may be attributed to the foolishness of youth, but are you any wiser now? Can you face demons and keep your hunter's word? I'm far past amends and redemption, but my heart is true. What must be done to break a demon pact? There is a way. You must find the physical object that embodies the deal. Destroy it, and the contract is void. The trouble is, this pact lies in the demon world. Point me towards the gate to the demon world, Boromir. Tell me where to find the Well of Worlds. I will reveal the location of the well to you, Hunter, but not yet. If you aim to release Zagaravia from its curse in the demon world, then I suggest you make sure there is a city left when you return. There are several demons currently in Zagarabia of immense power. Each one of them has the potential to annihilate the city and all survivors. I beseech you to defeat these monstrosities first. Return victorious, and I will entrust you with the secret of the Well of Worlds. Didn't you like that chap better when he recited nonsensical poetry to you? Tad too arrogant for a thousand-year-old corpse, I would say.
Did I hear you right, Victor? A spirit is sending you to fight demons? A spirit that only hunters can see? Now, I might have a bottle with a spirit of my own for your condition. During my last foray, I met Tsar Boromir. I don't know what you did to the old spook, but he is much more lucid now. We had a nice little chat, hunter to hunter. The Tsar seems to have some high hopes for you, but don't get yourself killed on his account. Tsar Boromir was a great man, my son. The ancient scripts that were held in the cathedral tell of his deeds. In ancient times he followed God's good will and founded the city to act as a beacon of hope, casting away the shadows that held sway over the hearts of mortal men. Is it true, Hunter? If those powerful demons that could destroy Castle Zagore on a whim exist, why have they not done so already? I think whoever commands them is toying with us, Your Majesty. Perhaps he hopes to lure more hunters to Zagoravia. Spiders. Why does it have to be spiders? Lava creepers. Very dangerous.
Oh, look at all those spider eggs. I wonder how many there are. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Ah, you made me lose count. Now I have to start all over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four hundred and forty-seven, four hundred and forty-eight, four hundred and forty-nine, four hundred and fifty, four hundred and fifty-one, four hundred and fifty-two, and four hundred and fifty-three. Let's see. Hmm. Four hundred and fifty-three multiplied by eight. That's a grand total of 3,624 legs. Impressive! Do you know that the gold which you bring here has some peculiar physical qualities? Perhaps it comes from the demon world. That explains your prices. <laughs> Never mind. What can I offer you today?
You seem fascinated by the macabre, Victor. It disturbs me to watch you like that, always so enthusiastic to enter a new cemetery or crypt. You'll get there, Victor. You'll get there. An ancient being roams the corridors of the mausoleum. He is knowledgeable and powerful, but I'm afraid he dislikes guests. Come on, Victor. I dare you. Enter. You're not afraid, are you? 